last time is on the record you're out to get me that's not true we have to talk to everyone who knew him ask your lawyer you want us to find her killer don't you what do you know about her not much she's a friend of that of Lorraine's we went out a few times you paid her to have sex I helped her she needed money for food for rent her family didn't give a damn about her you did did you use her in films? <laughs> Who do you think I am? Steven Spielberg? I don't make films. I'm a businessman. You're sure? I'm sure. My client says he doesn't make films. Not even pornographic ones? <laughs> I knew it. See what he's up to, Jonathan. Are you charging him with making pornographic films, officer? You said this was just an interview. We've been told by a witness that he used Betty in pornographic films. I'm asking if that's true. You don't have to answer the question. That woman, a witness, she's a lying scum. You, you don't have to answer the question. Did you ever take Betty to your house? <sighs> yeah, once or twice for a chat and some food. I, um, I like to cook for the ladies. That's not against the law, is it, officer? When was the last time you saw her? I don't know. Maybe two weeks ago. She came to the house. She wanted uh, money. Do you know why? <laughs> they come to me all the time. They know I'm an old softy. Got more than one friend. You've never had more than one, officer? Did you give her the money? If I gave them everything they want, they'd bleed me dry. These homosexuals were forced to kill to take it. There's nothing wrong with giving out condoms. Why did you take it away? She didn't want it. He was encouraging her to go out and have sex. Let's talk about this another time. I'm Alessia. Oh. Hi. Congratulations. God has blessed you. Contact me if you want to talk to my client again. And don't enter his house or touch any of his possessions without a warrant. That is normal police procedure. But uh, thanks for the reminder. Come on, Jonathan. Let's get out of here. Mark, can you come and talk to Lorraine? She wants to go home. I tried talking to her, but she won't listen. Yeah, sure. I haven't had much love in my life, Benjamin. I married him when I was quite young. It didn't take me long to see what a mistake I'd made. I didn't want to have affairs. <laughs> I'm not a good liar. And anyway, I didn't meet anyone I wanted to have an affair with. Most men bore me. They think about sex all the time. They have nothing to say. That's a bit tough. I am tough. I speak my mind. Are you trying to scare me? I've spent so much time Lying and pretending. Living in a marriage where we never told the truth. If we... I want it to be different. You have to tell me everything. I went to the clinic. You did? He's had lots of women. <laughs> I don't sleep with him anymore. 
But I could have got a sickness from him before. I had a checkup. I'll find out if I have any infections next week. So, now what? I suppose you better kiss me. I need a drink. You're staying here tonight. No way. I don't want anything happening to you. Can't you understand? What do you think will happen to me? Someone could get hold of you. You want to keep me for yourself? That's not what I mean, and you know it. Do I? We can keep you for 24 hours. We'll make you comfortable, and in the morning, we'll find you somewhere to go. Somewhere where no one will be able to find you. It's for your own good. I want that guy to look after me. The one at the desk. I've had enough of those stuck-up women. Tony? Have you seen Amanda? Yeah, she's going away. Not for a while. Yeah, she'll forget about me over there. She really likes you. Yeah, well, she's in a minority of one. Hey, I'm your friend too, and Carlo. Better get out of here. Don't want to get her into trouble. Do you think they should let him out? I don't know. It's only a ear. He was only a boy. Couldn't have known what he was doing. Can you go and watch Lorraine? Me? She asked for you. Just keep her happy. Hello? Oh my, I'm back about to... Sorry, am I interrupting or something? No, no. What happened? This girl was telling me how she didn't want to get pregnant. And her boyfriend wouldn't use anything. So I was explaining to her about female condoms when this guy suddenly... Are you two even listening or what? <laughs> Sit down. What's your name? Edward. And you're Lorraine. Am I famous or something? I heard that you knew the girl. Betty. She was my good friend. The best. I'd do anything for her. I would have done anything for her. I'm sorry. Sorry she got killed. I suppose it was one of the men she... I need to go to the ladies. Hi, man. Tony, are you talking to me? A man who's not good enough for your sister? That's not true, it's just... It's just what? Look, I know how you feel, but... Get lost! I called you a friend. Don't. Just try. Stop being an idiot! Tony! Hey, Tony! The last time you tried to pick him up, you got into trouble. Why did you bring him in this time? He knew Betty Jimmy. He better to sleep with him. His lawyer was with him? And uh, the whole interview was on camera. Harry admitted he knew her. He said the last time he saw her, she came to his house asking for money. How long ago? A couple of weeks. He didn't know for sure. I want to search his house. You don't like him, Mark. Have you got a good reason for going after him? Lorraine said he used to bet in porn films. He knows you're onto him. He'll get rid of the evidence. Can I get a search warrant? 
Get the warrant, but be careful. He's got a good lawyer. He stood there looking at me like I was some kind of criminal. He was thinking, one of those dirty homosexuals. Did he try and stop you? The poor girl was feeling so embarrassed, I had to go. When I looked back, he was taking the condom away from her. So she'll have no protection? She has sex with her boyfriend, so she got pregnant, and the boy will run away, and was look for the baby, not him. Do you know who he is? We should go and talk to him. I don't think he's a listening kind. Hello? I can't get back this afternoon. Okay. Can you drop off the posters? I'll sort everything out by tomorrow. I'll drop them off tomorrow. The, the morning's fine. No problem. I'll tell Benjamin. See you then. Thanks. Uh, hello? Is Mark available? I'm afraid not. He's told the chief inspector. I'm nearly out of credit. Can you ask him to ring? Elizabeth is why. Yes, of course. Bye. Thanks. She wants to go to the ladies. Stay there until she's finished. Can't one of you go? You're the one she wants. And we have to keep her happy. Thanks. Okay. Come on then. This way. mother with the washing and you stay with her all day. You hear me? He's going to be a good boy. He promised. Oh. Oh, what's the run on? Good afternoon. Simon, come and meet Pastor Ronan. Simon. How are you? It's good to be home. Speak, you're not dumb. It's okay. Mm. Nice meeting you. John. Here. The last money for your work. I wish it was more. Thank you. We want all of you to come and eat with us tonight. Amanda got a scholarship and Simon's home. See how good people are to you, Simon? Yes. He was involved in the murder of a security guard. He's out. No, no, no. It's just a normal inquiry. We like to know, that's all. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. What was that about? Uh, nothing. It's just an inquiry. Here you are. I think you'll be all right on your own. You're a very nice policeman. I haven't heard from you all day. I've been meaning to ring. It's been crazy. I couldn't get back to work, and Junior's bored because his friend didn't come. Look, I'm sorry. I feel like I never see you. I think we're on to something. When we solve this case, I'll get more time. 
When will that be? After all I can do today. So I'll come home now. Would you like that? You really mean it? See you in 30 minutes. Love you. Okay? You too. Myra. You should tell him. I know. But I'm worried about the boys. Do it. Tonight. Ready. You wanted to fight me. What? Tony. I saw him sitting by the river and when I went to talk to him, he went crazy. He's really upset. He thinks we're all against him. She better hurry up and leave before I knock his stupid head off. The fax is through now. I'm heading home. I'll need a car early tomorrow. Okay. I think there's a problem. What happened? She wouldn't come out. But you've got the key. I gave it to her. <laughs> I've got to find her before anyone else does. I'll go to the club, send a car to her old place, and the flat, okay. just, just in case. I don't think she'd go there, but it's worth a try. I'll get the car. Why did you give her the key? I didn't think she'd... You I just... didn't think? That says it all. You're home late. I got talking to a friend. Are you going out tonight? Nope. I'll make some supper then. Thank you, Father God, for all you do for us every day. For the good and plentiful food you put on our table. For the lives you give us. Tonight we are gathered to celebrate the wonderful opportunity you have given our daughter. And for bringing home our son, Simon. Let us welcome him back. As the prodigal son was welcomed by his father. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Amen. You, Simon, have been lost. But now you are found. Just like the story in the Bible. We are glad to have you with us, Simon. We want you to know that. Come here. Bryce? You lied to me! You taught me how! That's enough! Don't you touch me! If you touch me, I'll go to the pinnacle!
Yes, I need a car now. Right now. Mark. Yes? Lorraine, I need the addresses. Robert can drive over to her room. And uh, Danston and Jimmy wanted to flat. Uh, 32 Hillside Apartments. Thanks. Don't forget to fax the request for the search warrant. Yes. Mark, can I come along? It's all my fault. Not dressed like that. Danson's got a shed in the back room. I'll get it. Why here? What is it? Oh, come on, Gordon. Just do it as a favor for me, huh? Tell me what it is. Some clothes, a camera, nothing to worry about. Why don't you want it at your place? The police, they're trying to pin the death of this girl on me. Look, Gordon! I've done a lot for you. You wouldn't want the press to know how much, would you? You can put it in the carriage. I'll get the key. I'm really sorry. It's done. You think someone's after her? I don't think she'd want to walk into a hurry right now. I just thought she was going to the toilet. Go and get two beers. I want to stay well out of the way. Sorry. Lizzie. How could you? I've been waiting for hours. I cooked the dinner. It's cold now. Lorraine. She ran away. I've come to the bar to look for her. Why didn't you ring? I didn't get a chance to call you. What am I going to tell Junior? Daddy forgot you existed. It all happened so quickly. Just don't tell me you love me. I will be home as soon as... Lizzie. Lizzie. Okay. Are you sick, Mama? He's been trying to watch the girls in the shower. Oh, those men? I went to the police. What are they going to do about it? They are too busy trying to find the girl's killer. They should do something. <laughs> they can be everywhere at once. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh, good luck, my boy. Amanda, thank you. Thanks for coming. Good night. Oh, Nettie. We can thank you, Emma. Good night. Good night. Go, no, leave here. me alone! No! Go away! I'm not gonna let you go! 